Okay, Irene, Nassai, Minasan. Today, we are going to watch the second trailer of Monarch Legacy of Monsters. Let's go. Godzilla. Godzilla. There's certain characters, certain things that you've seen. Damn. Impact on you that stay with you. That's Godzilla. And Godzilla is one of them. Woo! That is a cool scene. <laughs> it's an honor to be invited by okay. friends and collaborators at Toho and at Legendary to play in this monster universe. That's nice. It's a legacy that goes back 70 years that we want to be respected. Woo! What is that? Honor everything and maintain consistency. And the thing that was exciting was to tell a human scaled story on a monster scaled stage. The chambers deep in the what are those? The movies are so grand and epic, and okay. we get the luxury to explore it in ten episodes, which means more detail. Wow! Drama. It's really exciting. Ten episodes. That's nice. That nice. There's two timelines happening in this show. Oh. And one in the modern era. Okay. That's nice. The characters discovered that they're part of this interconnected legacy. Mm. Family business. Okay. My son, why and I, we're playing the same person. Oh. We would go from his period of <clears throat> back in the 50s to what? modern day. We have been so, to be in the same movie. What? Son, but the idea of playing the same okay, person, okay. The artistic element to it that drew us to it. The things I do for Monarch. Wouldn't have made it this far without Wow. Every time I think we're searching for that, turns out there's some Monarch business in the way. I'm sorry everything is tangled up. But yes, all these roads lead to one place. This Monarch. Woo! Are just as new to the world as a new viewer might be. Welcome to Monarch. Sorry. They're not scientists and superheroes. They are regular people. Everything is new and insane. Whoa! Every time we go to locations... Bamboo spider. Which not want to place your... What is that? We went to Tokyo. <clears throat> Just amazing. It's the most rewarding experience. Huh. Part of something. This cool. Okay. I feel like the show we all set out to do is going to be epic and adventurous. What is so that? Feelings are there too. Uh, is that how they actually discovered the the portal to the underworld to the inside world? Oh damn, Roden? Oh no, that's not Roden. This is a height of entertainment. It has action and excitement. And all these monsters are pretty normal. What is that? <laughs> There we got Godzilla, obviously, our boy, our boy Godzilla. So, okay, so this is amazing. This is really, really amazing. But I just want to let all of you know, I'm not going to be around for 11, 11, 11 November until 20th November because I am going to be on a video shooting production, something like that. Okay, so just want to let you know for those who are waiting for my Kamen Rider Gacha and Osama Sentai review, I'm, I'm going to try to kind of see if there is any possible time for me to record the video. If there is time for me to record the video, then you're going to see the video being released consistently there, there's not gonna be any stop to the video at all but if you don't see video posted by me don't worry i'm still alive just just busy with other stuff okay so i think let, let us just go through the the trailer scene by scene okay because i felt like the trailer has a lot a lot of things that we need to talk about a, a lot of monsters a lot of kaiju that we can actually explore together. So the first thing, obviously, we're going to start out with Godzilla. And one thing that I love about Monarch Legacy of Monster is there is a lot, I I, I say a lot of daytime scene. I actually, when I, when I watched the trailer for Godzilla Minus One, one comment that I make regarding the movie trailer itself is that most of the scene we saw on the trailer itself are day time scene itself and most of the daytime scene shot are actually for Godzilla itself for the kaiju itself so that is really really Subarashi and we started out 
this Monarch Legacy of Monster with a daytime scene as well. And that is Godzilla tail whipping across the water. It looks amazing. I love it. And next we get to see the flow crumble. And I think this is where they actually meet the the Godzilla coming out from the ground. I'm not sure Godzilla is fighting who though. Like I think I just have to pay closer attention to the trailer. I'm just gonna skip through like the 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 actors and producers dialogue and conversation because there's nothing much to break down in a scene by scene breakdown when they are just talking sitting there okay next we get to see this i think this is the the first historical sighting of godzilla and the girl standing in middle is just to do kind of like a banana for scale thing like how small is a human compared to the foot of a Godzilla itself. So that is really, really Subarashi. And next we get to see the scene yet again. This is a scene back in the first Godzilla film from uh, Legendary. And it is really, really classic. I think this this scene, that shot is insanely, insanely amazing, okay? And I love this shot so much, man. Like this shot where Godzilla just like, Ah, <laughs> just point his mouth towards you. He looks so goofy here. He looks cute at the same time, but at the same time, he is very, very menacing. I, I love it. I really, really love this shot. Like his, we, you can't fully see his body, and there's like out of the smoke, out of the smith, there's just this giant monster lurking behind, and. It just sends chills down my spine when when you actually see that actually happening in front of you, like the the mystery of not knowing where the master would actually come from. I think scares me than seeing the master moving around something like that. Okay, but this is a really cool scene, really amazing scene. And next we get to see next the title drop, and this is the inside look, something like that. That is the the trailer title not sure why do they actually give kind of like a trailer title to this i'm not sure i'm really not sure but yeah next uh, i think this is a pretty cool scene as well we get to see like the the actors uh the character is actually using a ad ad film something like that i think that is called the ad film the film camera and then we are rolling and then this is really really good and I, I love the, the feels to it, like the old school cinema camera film, like film camera. And that is Godzilla. And I think this is kind of like, and this is old school Godzilla. This is maybe the possible first sighting of Godzilla. And remember in the original Godzilla movie itself, we, we got a lot, a lot of news clipping on how they actually tried to nuke Godzilla back in the day. And this could actually be like before the nuke. This is the first sighting we have for Godzilla. And then they try to nuke Godzilla, but it fails. Obviously, Godzilla is still alive. So maybe it's all coming from, from this uh, retro film camera itself. So this looks really, really good. Really, really Subarashi. And next we're going to see uh, another producer talking. Matt, Matt, I remember you. If the show sucks, I'm gonna blame you, Matt. <laughs> Why him in particular? I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird like that. Next, we get to see the trio and the trio. Okay, so the the fifties trio and the modern day trios. It looks good. I love it. And then next, we get to see. I think this is the the fifties trios. They look like modern day, but it's okay. They have. This is kind of like a yeah. I'm not sure what what that what what are those, and uh, we get to see some beetle looking monster coming out from their egg, and they better run, man, better run, because they are coming to eat you. And then we get to see the man girl of the series, I would assume, and then yeah, really really amazing, and we get to see. A lot of different sets here. This is one interesting set. Is this? I don't think this is the nook. Okay, I don't think this is the nook, but this is kind of like a sauna sensor type of deal that they are working with here. And I love that they are actually using a, a jeep or a crane that is like trying to shoot this scene because, huh? Because like when the when the actor is like moving across the the plank that you saw on 
the flow itself it makes sense for them to use this because adding in another just just a cameraman that that you're gonna record the 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 footstep you're gonna record the like the 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 shakiness of the cameraman something like that so bringing a jeep there might be kind of like a best call and we get to see a huge blue screen most probably behind them got like kind of like a destruction or something like that or maybe they just want to CG out some some stuff that we are not sure about okay but next uh, okay so they're in a office of Monarch maybe I'm not sure and next we get to see some flirty flirty scene between these two characters and then this is supposed to be the main girl's father I think yeah and together with Wet Russell and Kurt Russell something like that so and then they, they find out something they meet this guy the 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 old character the old main character who is this guy we are not sure but they are looking for Godzilla and then they are in the car talking talking and then get to see the the soldier is in a bowl setting something like that maybe this is like the moment like wow the the, the female lead is beautiful that I want to like sleep with her something like that kind of situation I mean this is a US show okay like this is a western show they you they are not gonna make a show that there has no romance in it I, I, I don't know why but that is just thing, how, how things goes okay like how to make a successful TV series romance <laughs> like how to pull up the runtime romance how to increase tension between the character romance okay so I, I, let me just move on I don't want to sound like an asshole here but yeah I am an asshole so that is a cool transition I don't think that is gonna happen in the show itself but they just maybe they purposefully cut that for the trailer I'm not sure but it is interesting okay so this is pretty fun really really amazing and next we get to see some more talking talking scene like show me the monster man show me the kaiju I want to talk more about the kaiju just gonna speed run this a little bit uh, okay so they are I, they are at least one episode we're gonna spend on the desert itself okay Matt I see you again what are you doing and it's pretty dark we are not sure where they are but I think this could actually be in Monarch yeah like a small Monarch department office or something like that <coughs> you get to see the bamboo bamboo spider mecha returns okay so this is really creepy because the the lack of the spider is literally a bamboo okay so that is gonna give you nightmares nightmare for fumes nightmare for days man on ends i think this bamboo spider is not really the first time we actually get to see a monster like this i can confidently say that i saw a monster like this before like back in and maybe an anime or some other like monster related content that they actually have a um, spider that have bamboo like if not mistaken is it kong skull island i'm not sure okay but this is really really scary okay like if you see that in real life you're gonna shit your pants you're gonna pee your pants okay and i also get to see some drone shot i don't think there's a drone shot but okay this is interesting there is kind of like a blue color ish looking thing in the in the thing that they are actually seeing so maybe they are actually looking for power source or maybe like uh, the the tunnel to the underworld something like that that is what we saw in king i think kong godzilla versus kong where they actually uses the tunnel to travel around the wall something like that and it is kind of weird if they if in this series that is supposed to take place between the first movie and the second movie where they actually discover this wormhole but in the third series in the third uh, movie which, which is Godzilla vs Kong they actually say that they have the walking idea they got they got the theory and all the stuff but then it's never actually proven it is some and all the stuff so I'm not sure how they are gonna spin the things and they are, how are they gonna 
hot things out something like that okay next we get to see the i'm not sure what this is but it's kind of like a armadillo creature something like that so it looks cool it looks good 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 next we get to see uh godzilla what god's kaiju designated shelter that's cool it's amazing next we get to see giant monster kaiju i'm pretty sure this is not godzilla but it could actually be okay because we actually get to see godzilla in a kind of like a desert looking biome something like that so yeah I, I think we might actually get to see that okay so really really amazing stuff and next they are running away from a abandoned ship that's nice okay so this is something that i want to talk about so this is what, what why I actually talk about the the underworld portal and all those stuff because of this scene because like in Godzilla vs Kong we actually get to see them actually Monarch has taken over the a few wormholes location and they actually create kind of like a facility throughout the wormhole facility but they never figure out a way to travel beyond what is the wormhole something like that until Godzilla vs Kong where they have the the special way it can actually invert their polarity and all those stuff so that is amazing that is really really interesting and yeah really fancy stuff that we actually get to see hopefully they explain how the wormhole works and all those stuff because things are gonna go get really really crazy i think that is godzilla or maybe not i'm not sure maybe not okay i don't think this is godzilla this is the bird this is the the twin horn bird something like that i'm not sure what is the name of the monster or the kaiju and next we get to see this i'm not sure what to actually call that monster kaiju but okay so this is yeah i think this is the well, I, I'm not sure what is the name of this kaiju, but this is... Well, we actually get to see this kaiju in Godzilla's singular point. I think that this is the first kaiju that we saw in the series itself. And next, we get to see a crab kaiju. That is nice. Versus a... Versus the bamboo spider. That is nice. Crab versus spider. Who would ever thought of seeing that? Yep, this is the 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 bad kaiju i'm not sure what to actually call it the the yeah i think bad kaiju is the best way to actually call that thing okay next we're gonna see yep some romance going on i'm gonna see a giant footprint the and then some expression shot and this is the scary monster like what are what are these? It, it, this this kaiju looks like is is it, it came out straight out from Pacific Rim, man. It doesn't really look like a kai Godzilla kaiju something like that, but yeah, it, it still looks good. It looks so barashi. Next, we get to see this amazing shot again of Godzilla screaming and woo and all the stuff. So Godzilla, welcome home, welcome back to the cool kids club. That is all from me. It says it, it is a really long video. I, I enjoy it. I enjoy the trailer. I can't wait to watch the series. But like I said, I can't actually enjoy it when it first came out, which is on 17th of November, because I will be away to shoot a a tally movie itself. Okay, so I'm really excited for the for the production, but at the same time. It's gonna be really tough, really tiring, but that is all from me. Hope you enjoy. If you like what you see, you know what to do. Subscribe. I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Goodbye.